You said you were done. Guy, I'm done. Guy, I'm done. I don't hey, this, I, guy, I know this one coming again. I just they sell. Calm down. Ah. Welcome, everyone. My movie fans, it's another episode on the real. As always, my job really is to tell you the latest movies that you can watch on Netflix or in the cinema. Just to save you time to know what to watch over the weekend. This week, I'm talking about a brand new movie which is already trending on Netflix called One Too Many. It's a Nollywood movie and it was about 91 minutes long. It was directed by Kasmu, Kayode Kasmu. A very good director, really cool movie. Stay with me. It's gonna be brief and let's talk about this movie. I should calm down. Yeah. <laughs> and the gun, guy. Papa, drop this thing. What's it do you? <laughs> guy, this one with a no go gun. What's it do you? Eric, Eric, please, oh, Eric. please, 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 okay. please. Just, just stop the car. Yeah, guy, the gun now for Popsy. Ah. Please, just park the car. Huh? Stop the car. And let guy, not feel park for here now. Why do you overreact? Cause of gun. I'm overreacting. Yes. I'm overreacting. Yes, guy. You slept with my babe because you were high on weed. This same weed. And now, for God's sake, you have a gun. Papa, calm down. Now, because of gun. Ah. Please, I do not want to be part of this. Guy, I don't feel part for you. Back the car! Okay, welcome back, everyone. So good to have you with me on the show. Remember, it's still Linda. We're talking about a Netflix movie called One Too Many. Mm, well, it's a very simple, touching movie. Okay, so let's go back to memory lane a bit. So, um, Dakari played the lead role. Um, the first scene shows a young girl did very well in school. Her father loved her so much and was willing to sacrifice his life and everything for her to get the best education and do well. Along the line, tragedy happened just before her work and the final exam. She got raped by, you know, two men who were police officers who were supposed to protect her while she was helping her mom go deliver food to them. And that was just almost what ended her beautiful, well-planned life. To save her family the shame and the embarrassment, she decides to run away from home, move to another city and start life from scratch. She kept the boy, but just kept protecting him from every single thing that could happen. Even at 22, he had to come home before 7, couldn't have friends, he didn't go to a hostel, he went to school from home. She just needed to protect the only thing that she had. When he got to his service, he decided that he was going to go with his friend and move to Lagos. He wanted to, and she just didn't want that. She wanted him to stay you know, close to her, just where she could monitor. Well, little did she know that that hope was going to be the last hope she was going to give her son. Because on their way to camp, the worst thing happened, which almost ruined her entire life. I'm just sad because the movie was just so touchy, very touchy, but it was just really good. The storyline was good. Cinematography was really good. You know, the actors and the actresses, everyone played their role so well, making it so real and just revealed lots of things that were, you know, that were happening in the society. How, you know, police force is supposed to protect and keep you, then end up causing so much problems for you, from her father to her life, now to her son. And she was bent on fighting for him with every single thing she's got, even if it was her last breath, to make sure she proved that he was innocent amazing amazing storyline if you do like drama movies no simple movies just stories there's no action fighting any suspense but a movie that just shows you a lot of things and challenges that people are facing one you can kind of relate to because it kind of brought out an incident and an event that occurred in nigeria you would really connect with how painful this movie was just just simple to my verdict I'm definitely going to score one too many, a very good score, 8.5. It was good. And of course, I always love that courage. She just knows how to put class and elegance to everything she does. She's really cool. I really do like her. I must give it up to her. Tope um, Adetola also was in the in the movie. Tope Telade was there, Jide Kosoko, and, and a few other actors and actresses did a good job. I liked it. I will want you to go see it, and then you can always come back and comment on it on our pages across social media at my movie view and on instagram twitter and facebook it was just so touchy that's why i'm so quiet like sometimes when i explain movies i explain them in detail telling you how i really felt mm. it was good till i come here again i remain your noble host my name hasn't changed my name is Linda. 
I'll definitely see you in the next episode. Do take good care and have a nice weekend. Bye for now. Fine. Ah, uh, one shot for my head. I go back on him. Ah, uh, just, just. Why, why, what's him? Papa, calm down. What's it? Ah, Papa, she mad. You, 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 you're waiting. We have to get rid of this gun. You, you, you're waiting. You got me that. Hey, stop, 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 stop. Now go on, Bidan. Now go on, Bidan. Stop, stop, stop. Move, move it, move it. You can't. Papa, no, you shot that. What's it doing? Calm down. Now, what's it doing? What's it doing? Gas, gas. Why would you have a bloody shot? Eric! Eric! No, 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 no. Sir, wait.